Hello, and playing this video, I know the movie hasn't come out yet, and we are working on it, but we have to have some slight pot, change, pot changes due to mine difficulties. And, um, so I'm with Cara today, and we tried three different videos. The first one was a dance tutorial. The second one was, <laughs> the second one was a, um, the video game video. Epic fail. But the camera kind of spazzed and made everything go chipmunk. We will upload that if we can, like, recover the footage. But for now, we're going to make a cake, and it's going to be a raspberry and almond cake. And this is because this is one of my famous recipes. So. For this video, you'll need four eggs. Nidio, sorry, cake. We need 165 gram of caster sugar. You actually need 225 gram, but we've only got 100. But the 25 grams won't add up to much. We'll need one ta one teaspoon of baking powder. We've got this weird contraption thingy in this hand of cars, and the bigger side is a tablespoon, and the smaller side is a teaspoon. So it's easy, pretty much easier for us to measure the baking powder. That's pretty much it for the actual cake. We heat the oven to 170 degrees. Celsius. Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> we need to grease the pan, so we actually need a tiny, tiny bit of butter, and you just spread it all around the pan. You need to get the butter all the way around the tin, even the edges. Now you need to separate the eggs into separate bowls. Artie will show you how to do so. All right, so you put this the easy way. There is another way which is more professional, but I like to do it this way. Um, so as I can see, I break the eggs in the bowl. You put the eggshells in the other side of the egg pot. Now you need to get an egg cup. Um, I haven't got an egg cup, so I'm using this kind of measuring thing from whiskey, but it's completely clean, so I can use it. And you cover the egg yolk, and you press it down, just because there's a kind of protective layer, and that's how the biology of the egg works. Um, you pour the whites into the other bowl. Make sure you keep the egg in one bowl. And now you just pour the yolk into the bowl you're using. So now you need to add the sugar to the egg yolks. Beat them together with a fork. If you haven't noticed already, my little sister did the last room, so she's helping us as well. So if you see a slightly small set of hands and you're wondering, who's the elf? It's my little sister. And don't be tempted to eat this, even though it looks delicious, because eggs can give you a summer cake. Yeah. Yeah. Whip the egg whites until they're stiff. This cake's a lot of As you see, they just start frothing, but they're not exactly stiff yet, so I'll show you when they're stiff. As you can see, Amelia has got the eggs and sugar into the right colour. Still working on these egg whites. <laughs> Alright, they're stiff. You know they're stiff? When you take out the whisk, they form kind of peaks. I'm not sure if these are complete as yet, so I'm going to carry on a bit longer. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, it's popular. Add the whites to the uh, um, to the yolk and sugar. Mix, oh, Mix together. Coffee. With a spoon, so I'm doing this wrong. Yes, wonderful. You happy? But I'll just use a fork. We will leave my little sister Amelia. Um, stirring it with a spoon like she should be. You meant to stir it, oh well, you just meant to fold it. And um, folding is basically you get it from the top, bottom, oh, then you fold it to the top, starting from the bottom. Now we're here. Um, I'm gonna get a slightly better spoon because this one's crap. Now, this is what I call a spoon. The reason we fold is to trap the air into the cake mixture. And this is another way of making the cake rise, because no one wants a flat cake. <laughs> now add the almonds. <laughs> so and the baking powder. Remember what I said earlier, this is a teaspoon? So yeah, that. That's what. 
So fold again until you can see everything is done. If you still don't get what folding is, I'll tell you now. So what you want to do is you want to get the spoon, you want to do it right underneath, bring it all the way under, don't take it out, just bring it over the top and kind of paste it over like, you know when you fold paper, you just bring it out from underneath and fold it over the top. It's basically like this, just in cooking. We'll mix it into the tin. This is really hard because the bowl's quite heavy. So you usually need someone else. Amelia, can you add the spoon? Just to scrape out the rest while you hold it. If you have one of these at home, well, we call it the last liquor. So, Amelia, so, you basically scrape, use it to scrape out the things and get it into the pan. It's gone slightly brown because it's been in really hot places. The cats are obviously hungry. We won't feed you yet because you still got to put this cake in the oven. Oh. And put it in the oven. I'm not very safe with this, but you should probably use um, a towel or baking gloves. Getting a towel. You need to set the timer for 35 to 40 minutes. And now you just wait. Playing the waiting game. Alfie is very Playing curious the waiting about the game. game. <laughs> we actually have to play the waiting game again for this to cool down, but me and Kara are in a rush because Kara has to go home. So, we're good. It says to use icing sugar, no, no, I decided to use whipped cream because icing sugar would have made it too sweet. So after you whip basically some double cream and you spread it out around the thing, we can add some raspberries for decoration. Let me just wash. So decoration no, no, raspberries because it's a raspberry cake. I've done a heart with a border. So when you want to decide, if you decide you want to make this cake, you can always come back to this video. To